Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Lewis. Hi, I'm Leo. And, and this, this is Faye. Faye. Join the Bye family as we up sticks and reroute from the hustle and bustle of the UK to a more simplistic life in Bulgaria. Watch as we learn, grow, fail, succeed, and everything in between. From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. It's just another day here at the Bulgarian barn house with Faye eating sand. Faye, tell everyone, how's the sand? How's the sand? Is it good? He's on camera, pressure's on. We've got Digger in today, doing some more work on the garden. Got lots to do and, uh, and it's gonna be helpful having him here. So we've got to fill in some trenches. We've got to dig out some pipe work. Yeah, there's quite a bit to do. So we're getting him in, seeing how we get on. Okay, so what we've got Vanjo here doing it's just filling in some of the trenches that haven't been filled in yet. I'm um, just finishing everything off. The rainwater and the storms came down here, like I said in a previous video, and just washed all of this away. So I put this concrete slab in just there to try and kind of mitigate that issue, starting off with. And now, and now he's coming back, filling everything in, getting it all sorted. We're gonna get the septic tank buried and we're gonna bury all the trenches back here as well and get all of this filled back in and finally have this kind of done out the way and turned back into like a normal road. You're rocking that. You're absolutely rocking no, it. the pigs escaped. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> You're wearing dead people's clothes. How does that make you feel? <laughs> so you can see we're having fun in our new home. <laughs> are we having a good time? <laughs> some days I forget to do some videos and, uh, and today is another one of those days where I forgot to do stuff again. Um, so we are approaching winter and it's getting important for us to make sure that we're prepping wood and, and stuff for the winter. So. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm just organising the garage um, where it has it was a lot worse than what it what it is right now. But essentially, we're just organising all of this area. So I'm gonna have logs here, kindling that needs cutting up here. We've got loads of flat board over there that's come from around the property that will one day kind of break up into more wood um, for for kindling and burning. And, and over here, we've got a big bag of sticks that we broke up when we were knocking down loads of trees. That's more kindling. This came from the ceiling when we ripped them down, so that's more kindling. But I don't really like this stuff too much. There's a lot of metal in it and, and wire, which is annoying, but we'll see how we get on with it. It's like bamboo, it's quite sharp. I'm always half tempted to get rid of it, but we'll see how we get on with it. So I'm just kind of organizing the area a bit better because right now it's not so organized we've got a lot more logs to cut up from a big pile that we've got over in the garden um, that you would have seen already this needs to be much much higher but yeah it's starting to get a bit better than it was it was uh you couldn't even walk through here and we've just got our log burner and i really wanted to make it easy and accessible it was too chaotic too messy i came down here this morning to get some bits from here and to go and start a fire i thought We've got to sort this out. So I'm just cracking on and, and getting through this and trying to make some of something of it. We've got a power cut at the moment, so I won't be able to video too much of it annoyingly, um, unless the power's come back on. Maybe it has. But yeah, plenty to do. 
winter approaching, lots of stuff to get on with, and you kind of get caught up in doing the stuff and not videoing a lot of it. Uh, but I tried to video what I can, where I can. So yeah, let's get this prepped and I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm finished. If you like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave us a little comment. Not as strong as four, huh? Quickly, all of your fans will see. Got to use those legs. Got to use those legs to lift. So we had a bet that Leo wouldn't be able to lift this log. He lifted those two, but I told him he wouldn't be able to lift this one. Oh, that's good. Oh. 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 Go on, you're there now. Go on. Go. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Do dab. Do dab. Oh, damn. Dude, that's your biggest lift ever. That is a PB. Personal best. Talk us through your lift. What was the right technique for you? So if there's a hole, you flip it like this. We'll get it out of the way first. Do it like that. Put your hands in here. Lift. And lift. What? You did two of them? Damn. Checking out the new hill. How's it looking, George? Look at that. That's it, septic tank covered. Woohoo! Hey everyone, thank you for watching another YouTube episode. Now, if you don't know, or I'm sure you do know by now, that we do actually have a Patreon's membership platform as well. On this platform, we provide alternative videos to what you're watching on YouTube. So we have our standard episodes that we bring out every month for you guys on YouTube, but on Patreon, you do get them earlier. But in addition to those videos, we offer a more behind the scene approach to what we're doing around here, sneak peeks at certain things. We also like to try and get a little bit more interactive with everyone and involve them in our What Would You Do videos. The people that are on our Patreon page will get a shout out in the video. And every month we will thank our Patreons by doing exactly what we're doing right now. I wanna bring these guys up. I wanna say thank you to you all for being a part of our journey. Thank you for supporting us. We hope you're enjoying everything we're bringing out for you guys. If you wanna join our Patreon, just click the link that's in our description below. This will take you straight over to the membership website. You can enjoy all the access to these behind the scene videos. We've gone down into our village and there seems to be a fair going on that I didn't even know took place. But we're uh, having a little roam, ain't we? That's cool, isn't it? Oh, look. Leo, go down the slide, I want to see again. Go on, go down that one. <laughs> Today's task is to begin turning our wet room into an actual room where we can shower without feeling like we live in a shanty. <laughs> so we have Jordan's sister Demi coming over to stay and quite frankly this place really isn't ready to have people to stay. She's going to come over and stay in the caravan. We're just trying to make the toilet and shower room a little bit more functional to accommodate her and six children. So I mean it's all right for us. We can we've been showering on a pallet for a good while now so we're just going to try and get the the shower room looking a little bit nicer so the current condition of it is like this so as you can see we've been standing on this pallet because we just didn't really want to stand on this horrible like concrete floor in bare feet there's things sticking out the wall this is where the old taps used to be this sh old shower pole needs to get cut off all of the pipes really could do with being hidden but i don't know if we'll have time to do that and then we've got 
two pipes down there that we need to cut out. All of this piping around the outside is going to eventually be covered by stud wall, but for now I just don't think we have that kind of time. So what we really want to do is get stuff like this out the wall, fill that, fill that, get stuck, get those poles out the wall and fill that as well. Get this frame out, brick that up, fill it, and then just paint it, paint the whole room, and then and yeah, uh, and that should be suffice temporarily to sort this room out. And then we'll also tile the floor too. So we'll get all this, we'll, we'll try our best to get this looking nice. That's got to come down to that old light. Today's job is chop things off the wall and prep for filling. And, uh, and yeah, see how we go. Typically on the day I need my goggles, I can't find them. So hopefully not too much debris is going to be walking me in the eye. We'll see how we get on. So here they love to cement everything into the wall. So I can't actually undo these. Usually they would undo, but they won't because they're, they're cemented into the wall. So I have to cut them. I don't have too much choice. objective is to try and just get these sitting under flush and then I'll just run some filler over the top. Make it nice and quick, nice and easy. Won't over complicated things. I'm going to now just carry on, crack on, cutting everything down and we'll get to a stage where we can go, okay, let's fill it. So, that is a big old bug. My brooms, ready to fly home. Well, your witch's brooms. <laughs> so, so I put this thing here because, well, the roof is falling down and I thought this will delay the process. It's certainly not a long-term fix. But the plan is we're going to chop wood up into kindling from here and put it in these sacks and fill the sacks up with sliced logs and kindling so that we can just go, hey, Leo, can you run down and pick up a bag of wood? You've got to put her on the floor, look, just to keep her happy. How are you feeling about the baby? Love it. Tell everyone about motherhood. <laughs> I love the flooring. Yeah, the flooring is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, cool. But yeah, cool. so cool. So this is where all the big logs are gonna go. Yeah. Right? And and then we're gonna chop them and then bag them. And then we can put bags here. Yeah. So we can put bags here full of chopped wood. Yeah. And then we can put bags here full of chopped kindling. What's all that again? That's all that's all like fire starting material. Job. Thank you. Very functional, isn't it? It is. We've kept all your memorabilia. Oh, good. Because I know how much you love the memorabilia. I do. And the tyre. Yeah. Don't throw my tyre away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, functional. It is. All right, now just, we just need to get some chopping. More wood. Because well, that's not going to get us through the winter. <laughs> This is going to warm our whole kitchen and probably a little bit the whole way. I'm going to light it up for the first time. We're going to get hot in here. Finally. Look how happy you are. <laughs> We've got a fire in our house. We do. This is all the wood that Daniel has been making us save over the yeah. summer. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Let's put some logs on. I'm ready for the warmies. Oh yeah, the what? <laughs> it's Bulgarian for warm. <laughs> <laughs>
Lewis was away in England, in the early hours of the morning, a strange man turned up to our house. He had a very skinny dog and what I thought was a bag of food. As I tried to speak to the man, obviously my Bulgarian's not great, I assured him that I did not want the dog. He then decided to get quite angry with me and ended up throwing the dogs onto our path. As the bag dropped to the floor, I realised it wasn't a bag of food, but actually a bag filled with six newborn puppies. We were in no position to take these puppies. We had no space for them. We did not have the financial means to raise six dogs and their mum, but me and the kids fell in love with them. We knew that we had to help these poor dogs. I put them into the only room that was watertight. This is the cellar underneath the kitchen. I made them a bed out of what I had, and and we soon called the vet to give them all a health check. They were covered in fleas, ticks, and their stomachs were very bloated from all the worms. But after a few bowls of food, lots of eggs, lots of love, they soon started to come out their shell. Dottie is one of the most timid dogs that I have ever met. So gentle though, and she never showed aggression at not one time. I feel like she knew we were there to help her. Rescuing six puppies and their mum was definitely not part of our plan, but definitely a huge part in our journey. I don't know what's happened to my life. What is this? Look at them all. There's a dog chasing a cat. Oh my god. under control. Managed. Stop it. I spoke about this. Stop. What are you doing? Oh, this is our favourite one. What do you mean it's our favourite one? Oh, look at her. She just wants some love off you. Look at her. Running off with a stick. We can't live like this. What? Why not? Like this. Like what? This it's like, is heaven. It's like 101 Dalmatian. Look at all this lovey's I get. Lovey. I'm getting on with the bathroom. I'm getting on with the bathroom. We're back again with the trusty homemade hawk. Probably could have bought one from the shop, but I didn't because I'm cheap. We're just doing some rendering now. So I'm just rendering up these parts of the wall. Obviously where the tap comes from. I've leveled up that tap hopefully enough. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to let this set here and then render the rest on once it's dried up a little bit. Or just wait a couple hours once it goes a bit hard and then I'll fill in those gaps. Um, but I'm just filling in the gaps running up the wall and I'll come around and I'll fill that, I'll fill that, fill that as well. And then we'll smoothen it out. We'll sand all the paint off and then give it, give it a fresh coat, probably of epoxy paint and, the, the, and then tile the floor and, and change the, the drain hole. Hopefully that won't be too difficult, it shouldn't be. But yeah, that's the plan anyway. Are we, are we, are we rolling? We are. So Jordan's got me doing other things. Yet again, sidetracked. No, it was for the kids. I was there, trying to make a bathroom happen, with some tiles, and here I am, fiddling with a wardrobe that she's repurposing. Yeah, but what find? I don't even know, I can't find the hole. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> There's somewhere in. I'll we'll just poke it around. It <laughs> Fucked it. Wardrobes here are well built. They are solid, but they are designed very strangely. They're designed to never be moved again. No, they're designed to be put up once and never be lifted. And it, this thing is heavy. So this is for Leo's room, and I'd actually say it's a pretty good unit. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. This is George. He wants to repurpose everything. Keep everything. Once the doors are back on, it'll be good. Which is good, because I like free stuff that costs less, but it always becomes my job to move them. But you don't want a new wardrobe with like a vintage bed, do you? No, my love, you don't. Absolutely not. How and he's you... got his little, you know, How cabinet. Worst nightmare, that he's would be. He's got his little wands oh. and oh, robots. Oh, I think I found the hole. Found the hole. Congratulations. Wow. This will only take me two minutes. <laughs> <laughs>
Alright, that's enough. PG. Do you know what I think I'm always doing? I'm always losing my tripod for my phone. Always losing it, all the time. I was going to give you a lovely shot of me. Sand in the wall, but... You know... I can't seem to uh, find the tripod. But hey, look, lovely shot. We'll do it again, we'll start again. So I'm just going around sanding, uh, sanding the, the walls ready for prep. We're going to prep them for painting now. I've done some, a horrible rendering job in here because I don't really know how to render that well. The, 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 the idea was, okay, so here's what I was going to do. I, I, we didn't buy thinner because it would have cost a lot of money. It made more sense to just stick some, some render in there. It's not line render or anything. It's just like basic four, four parts sand, one cement. Um, with a little bit of PVA in it to make it a little bit more waterproof for the walls because um, obviously it's a wet room. So what I've done around, you can see here, I've filled this, um, I've sanded this down with a disc and it, it's not too bad actually, once it's, once it's sanded down it's fine. Um, and then obviously you can see the patch there, there's a patch there as well, there, did some work there, basically I've gone around and filled it and then probably the most, the worst one where the water pipes are. Um, is that I still need to put brackets on these, I haven't done that yet either. But to be fair, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty rigid. It's quite rigid. <laughs> That's not so straight, is it? I did not weld that very straight at all. Uh, but it's okay, all of this one day will be hidden, so I'm not really too worried about it. I'm, I'm not crying about it. What we have here is this horrible rendering that I've done. You can see it does not sit flush. The sand here is really coarse as well. Um, really, I should have not... This should have sat flush and I should have took it off and I didn't. Hopefully what's gonna happen is I'm gonna sand that down like I did with this one. But it turns out that you can't just use normal sandpaper, uh, normal sanding wheels on a grinder, because they just burn out really quick. So you have to use, from what I've just read online, you have to use like a diamond, some sort of diamond sandpaper or something like that. Or a polishing wheel, I think I saw. So, but I'm gonna do a little bit more research, but I'm gonna pop into town and get this. But for now, all I'm doing, I'm kind of just going, making sure that I'm sanding all of this so we don't have flaky bits to paint over and uh, and then once we go down into town we'll, um, we'll get the wheels and, and hopefully that will help a little bit um, just go through it without just throwing money down the drain pointlessly and we should be able to sand everything flush and then paint it and then we'll be uh, we'll be ready for tiling and then the tiling that'll be that'll be it for now temporarily while Jordan's sister comes over the pipes will still be exposed um, we'll stud stubble them at a later date, but we'll have a nice tiled floor in here and in the toilet. That is the plan. Let's go. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what So not only do we have the smelling of pup from the puppy room, we have the smelling of pup from the septic tank today also at the same time. The toilet is off, so obviously there's no U-bend there to stop smell coming back up so we're getting full septic tank smells into this annex while we uh plug the hole around the around the toilet and try and polish up this room for painting today so yeah wonderful stuff the stench coming out of here is unreal <laughs> george on pup duty this is the life you wanted i don't mind it that's the thing, I'm not, it doesn't bother me. Like, I find it quite therapeutic, make it clean and nice. That's not what I hear you say when you walk down here. Oh, it stinks, yeah. But, <laughs> if this was my full-time job, I would be buzzing. Oh my god. Puppy playing all the time, coming here a few times a day, and clean. I feel like I'm doing good. That's what it is, it's pure selfishness, it just makes me feel like I'm doing good. Well, it is. I'm not doing it to help animals, I'm doing it for myself. <laughs> Hello to all of our followers. I wanted to take this opportunity to just let you all know about the super thanks button that we have below the video. This is a new feature for our YouTube channel. It's going to allow all of our followers here on YouTube to donate small amounts of money towards our channel and our project that we're building here. Any money that gets donated to our channel will be used for things like recording equipment. Right now, every YouTube episode that you've seen, we have used our phones and tripods, some of which have broke multiple times. I have destroyed my phones, broken screens, just in the hopes that I would capture 
some good content for you guys. And it's time that we do move away from this and we start using really good equipment if we are to continue growing and developing these episodes. Not only will anything you donate go towards the episode, it will go towards renovating the land on this property, the house, the outbuildings, things for the children. And we will absolutely make sure that everybody knows that you donated towards our channel. We're doing a specific shout out to those of you that have donated via Superfans. Here are some people from the past month that have donated via Superfans. Honestly, we couldn't do what we do without the support of all of you guys both from the super thanks, from the Patreon, from the subscribers, every bit of content that we capture, we capture for you. And we can't speak highly enough of the people that support us. And we hope that we can keep bringing you incredible content that you guys enjoy, and hopefully with some improved equipment over time. Thank you. You know, if there's one thing I hate, it's prepping a room for painting. Like, sorry to all you painter decorators out there. It's not my thing, can't stand it. It's just dirty, it's grimy. Like it's all the sand in, crap falling in my hair. A bit like Uncle Fester. It's just, it's not for me. Oh, this is where we're at. <laughs> it looks barely any different. So all of this is flush. We've sanded this. Um, everything needs a clean as well. I'm still sanding this wall. I'm starting to sand the ceiling now, so all the flaky bits are off. Um, it's, there's a lot of fumes coming off the paint. Uh, so I'm having to wear a mask and the dust and and all of that, which is yeah, it makes it a lot a lot more difficult than I would like to, it to be. But got to be done. I just want it to be over. You know, it's the type of jobs I just want it to be over. Like I'm sending Jordan in here to paint it because I'm not a painter. I don't do painting. Painting's not my thing. Um, it's mundane. I don't mind tiling, it's quite intricate. I quite like the, the fitting of the puzzle. Um, I say that now, wait till I do it. <laughs> That'd be a different story, won't it? Guarantee it. So yeah, I, I just want this bit to be over, but I know I've still got to come in and do the toilet as well, and I'm not looking forward to that bit. Um, my goal for today is to just try and get all the paint and everything, get get the shower room ready for painting, get it ready for painting, get it cleaned up, send Jordan in there to paint it, and I'll, then obviously, well, I'll have to finish the toilet first as well, actually. But my goal for today is to have the shower room sanded, ready for painting. Um, and then anything else is a bonus. How are we doing? Good. We're running out of paint, though. This life is great, you know. I'm so for it. Peaceful. There's no baby to get on with things. How are you feeling it's coming along? Yeah, it's like the walls are so dry, though. They just take so much paint. Do you know what I mean? With these ones, you were supposed to sponge them first and get the dust off. Oh. But you know, it's okay, just paint. I painted over it now. <laughs> I ain't got time for that, to be honest. No, we don't have time for it, we to be fair. We ain't got time to, you know, I'm not looking for it to be showing. Why are you chucking paint all over the toilet? Look, Lou, this is my process. Getting there, getting there. I love this, like, exposed yeah, bridge. Like, come on, chip this one. Oh, why? Because you've got paint on it. <laughs> yeah. It yeah, she's got paint on my bricks. I we're doing like a that. we're doing like a little exposed brick feature it's here. Very um. Oh look! Couldn't help it, could she? <laughs> <laughs> it's because you meant to use a roller. To do that. And that's why I said you go around the bottom. Do the these bits, which I can't get into. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that's not ideal, but, you know. What's happening, Leo? How's it going? You feel like you're doing a good job? Yeah. In order to do paint, in order to paint good, what do you have to do? Take your time. You tell me, you're the master. Basically, a big craft project. Yeah. How's that feeling? It's going. It just looks so new. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? How have you felt doing a day's work today? If you can draw, oh, I can tell you where to go. Day's work. Bloody joke, that is. What do you mean? That's a breeze down there. Compared to that, all day. 
I would rather do labour than that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to rephrase that for the world? No. <laughs> Start cutting some tiles. I've just unpacked the tile cutter and I noticed that it's got a hole cutter on it as well, which is good because I was thinking I'm going to have to grind that out, but I might not have to. So let's see how that goes. But this is it. Apologies for the messy room. That's the cutter. It's Raider. Got it from our local shop in Netherlands and it was 80 loves, which is about £35 for a brand new tile cutter, which I don't think you would get in England to be honest I think they're usually around 80 quid so yeah good stuff quite happy with that you can see the riding on the pavement young kids they're growing up in basements online a whole new generation I'ma make mine so you better go take it always they need a new replacement decentralized can't contain it we're on the uh the final tile of this centerpiece and then we can start moving on to the outside cuts of the shower and then we should be very, 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 very close to being finished, which is nice. My back's hurting. My back is hurting a lot. I always find these bits hard, like, I always find, like, talking about this type of stuff on camera to people difficult because I never want to come across as if I know what I'm doing because I don't want people to take advice from what I'm doing. I don't want people to go... What I don't want people to do is... I don't want people to say, hey, you're doing this completely wrong or, you know... You shouldn't give, give people advice on how to do this because I'm not giving any of you any advice on how to do this. Everything I do is at the risk of myself. And if it works out okay, then great. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Um, I'll always encourage everybody to just kind of do something, at least try to do DIY um, and give everything a bash before passing it on to a more professional person. That's kind of what I'm all about. I'm all about giving it a go, seeing how you get on. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. So far, things are looking good. All I've got to do is back butter this. So back buttering essentially is making sure you put some adhesive on the back of the tile so that it also goes on to this surface as well and it creates like a, a better bond between, especially you don't really need to do it for walls from what I understand, but for floors you absolutely do have to do it. So you butter the floor, butter the tile, place the tile. I'm using these little level pegs and they just help kind of pull the tiles in the, in the right direction and, and making sure everything kind of sits in, in the right place, which is quite nice, I like that. But yeah, uh, it, we're going good, we're doing all right. I'm gonna get this one done. Keep working hard. Oh, it's been a long day. Final piece of the puzzle. Final piece of the puzzle, baby. I would say that's not a bad job. Well, we don't know yet. We'll have to see if it works first. My oil just, the water might just all flow underneath. <laughs> Lift it all up and, you know, maybe I bedded it in wrong. Uh, crack a tile. I don't know. You don't know until you get in there and have a shower, do you, really, after it's all grouted. I really, really wanted to get this done this evening. So, you know, it's not all going to be done in one day. It's not tiled and grouted in one day. So we've got the adhesive down. We've got the tiles down in one day and then we'll grout it tomorrow morning, hopefully. Um, hopefully it'll set a bit overnight and uh, and we'll be able to grow it uh, tomorrow. I really wanted to get it done, purely on the basis that obviously we've got Jordan's sister coming over. I don't know, like we live in a shanty I guess, but you know, standing on a on a pallet because we didn't like, <laughs> like the way the floor was when we showered. But it's going to be quite nice to stand on a tarp floor. I mean... Damn, I mean, for them, they'll probably be like, it'll, it'll mean nothing to them, <laughs> it's a lot, because they're just so used to getting in the shower and stuff, like, it won't mean anything, but to us, it will mean, it will mean loads, it's a huge, huge deal for us, because we've not had it for so long, and, um, I'm excited, I'm definitely excited, nervous, hopefully, I'm hoping it's gonna, it's gonna work, I've never done a, uh, wet room floor like this before, but overall, proud, and, uh, and I'm hoping that will be done because I need a shower and I can't have one, so I'm gonna have to wash and I feel million. I can't go to bed without a shower, that's my thing. But yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> so it's been a couple of days since it all dried up and uh, everyone's been having a shower and everyone's been using it, but I haven't really had a chance to show everyone the finished product just yet. So here it is. All done. 
shower on. There's a little bit of painting left to do, but apart from that, it's completely finished. And I must say, I'm quite happy with it. Today, it's wood day. Got some more wood to cut. Don't know what, what accent, what accent even is that? Uh, Don in Montana. No, that's not cowboy, is it? <laughs> We've got some uh, kindling to make, so we're making a bit of kindling today, me and Leah. Leah has already had a little bit of a practice. We've got a bit more to do, haven't we, Leah? Got a bit more kindling to do? Yeah. Yeah, Leah's already exhausted. He's really tired. It's been a hard day for him already. He just brought this log over to the steps, and he's feeling a bit tired, aren't you? Um, so we've got a little technique on the go. I've got an idea for a machine that I'm going to make to make this all easier at some point, but for now we're going the old way. Isn't that right? Yeah. Old school. Show everybody how... It's a thing though, isn't it? Sometimes they've got to do the things that they don't want to do. You have to, that's life. He doesn't want to do this. He'd rather sit indoors, he'd rather sit indoors and play on his iPad all day. That's what he'd rather do, but... It ain't happening, is it? Because there's a lock. Yeah, you've been locked out your iPad now. In the first time, I actually got back in. Yeah, you got back in the first time, but now it's locked. It's over. Um, your time's over. You can't do it anymore. So yeah. from, from the time of between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., he's ours working on the farm for the day. Right, listen, we're going to chop some wood. So let's get to it. How do you do it then? Tell me how you do it. Do it like this. Like, so it has to be in the middle. Kindling, good job. Yeah, the whole pile up there. Yeah, well, you did do a pile already. I want to get to 100. I'd love 100,000 people to watch my video. Yeah, and... That would be so cool. Yeah, but they want to see something that was from olden times. This is from olden times. No, like old technology, that kind of stuff. Oh, right. That's what they want to see. This is how everyone used to do it in the olden times. Next time, it's one from Bournemouth to Bulgaria. We've got a sofa. How crazy is that? Ah! Build it, build it, build it, build it! Yeah, a sofa is something when you move into a house, you're like, oh, one of the first things you buy. But at every point, something is also more important than a sofa. Winter is coming. Winter's coming, and we've got some exposed pipes. Whoa. That's why I married you. Jordan told me that one of our neighbours said to us, he said, if you, uh, if you go and buy yourself a village house, you'll be working on it for the rest of your life. So, <laughs> I think I've got my work cut out for me. Oh, there we go. What P -whip. we do is we'll put your balls on there. Yeah, that's my balls. That's my balls. There's Lewis's nutsack. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. So we are finally sealing the windows. They've been letting a big draft through because they're not sealed. And I'm slowly becoming a sealing expert. 